The fishing fleets of the European Union catch a lot of fish, around 5 million tons annually. Yet because fishing limits have been set too high, numerous fish stocks are now overexploited. The latest data show that in the North Sea and Northeast Atlantic, nearly 50% of stocks are overfished, and the situation is even more alarming in the Mediterranean Sea, where more than 90% of stocks are overfished. Fish and fisheries have always played an important role in the culture and livelihoods of Europeans, and most people don't want that to change. But it might if fishing limits continue to be set at unsustainable rates. Without sufficient fish to catch, jobs, lifestyles, and even entire coastal communities could collapse. But if EU decision-makers limit fishing to the maximum sustainable yield, that's the highest level of catch that doesn't harm a fish stock, scientists say fish populations can rebound. Experts estimate that ending overfishing in the Northeast Atlantic alone could generate an additional 4.6 billion euro of annual revenue and more jobs in the fishing sector. The EU should already be on the road to ending overfishing. A set of rules called the Common Fisheries Policy, which was revised and took effect in 2014, requires that all EU stocks must be fished sustainably by 2020 at the latest. The law was agreed by EU fisheries ministers and representatives from the European Parliament with broad support from civil society. So why isn't the problem solved already? Each year, the European Commission asks the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea to provide scientific advice for the following year's fishing limits. Then, the European Commission publishes its proposals during the autumn. The final decision is made behind closed doors by all EU fisheries ministers at the Fisheries Council meetings at the end of the year. While the law changed, ministers have been continuing to ignore the scientists' advice and setting quotas above advised limits, slowing down progress to end overfishing in the EU. To see lasting change on the water, it is time to demand EU leaders abide by the common fisheries policy. Setting fishing limits not exceeding scientifically advised levels would allow fish populations to recover, resulting in additional revenue and jobs for the fishermen, thriving coastal communities and sustainable food for European consumers. Here is where you come in. Sign up to receive the newsletter from the Pew Charitable Trust's campaign to end overfishing in the EU. As part of the campaign, you can participate in online actions, pressuring your minister to make the right decisions for the fish, the fishermen and the future. You can also join us on Facebook and Twitter to further spread the message about the need to end overfishing in the EU. Remember, nothing will change for the better unless the people demand it. For more information, visit pewtrust.org slash end EU overfishing.